Along with boulders coming down, heavy rain has hit many more residents around the state. KITV Forest Paul Drew shows us some of the problems from the stormy weather. Paul. We'll make a winter in is Hawaii's wet season, and in addition to the usual showers that come in with trade winds, Hawaii periodically gets soaked by passing cold fronts. And sometimes those systems are more intense or last longer, which can cause additional problems while they're here. And that's what we've seen with this latest round of rain. Anytime you see rainfall over 20 inches over a couple of days in a certain area, that's impressive. Malga area has got the most rain during this stormy weather over the weekend, including nearly three feet of rain for the mountains of Molokai. But it was the rain that fell over leeward sites and all that runoff that caused the most problems for the Friendly Isle. But when you start to see rainfall totals of five, six, seven, approaching 10 inches in the leeward areas, where, where more of our communities are and it has a little bit more flood prone in terms of the infrastructure, that's, that's when situations get dangerous. Uh, many times uh, in these low-lying areas, they're very dry. Um, when we get these very heavy rains in a, in a very short amount of time, those areas can frequently flood and it's a type of flash flooding. As you can see in this video, roads turned into rivers because of all that runoff. One of the problems is when heavy rain hits, the ground can absorb it all, and excessive water simply washes downhill. It doesn't really take a whole lot. It only takes, a, say, two inches of rain over a short period of time, and that can easily saturate the soils. And once the ground is saturated, even additional light rain can cause runoff. While more than a foot of rain has fallen for parts of Kauai, Hanalei has also seen its share of showers and rain, and all of that runoff filling up low-lying areas. While soil can fill up with water quickly, it takes much longer to dry out, which keeps the flooding threat up for areas soaked by storms. With these type of incidents, we tend to see a lot of flash flooding, and, and that tends to be one of the biggest threats we have here in the state. And we've seen... And that's why it is important to know about weather watches and warnings. You can sign up with each of the counties or download the KITV4 Island News app and automatically get those important weather alerts right to your phone. Paul Drews, KITV4 Island News.